Does he have a plan? No. Does he want to film a video? Yes. Here we are. Hey, it's Chris, and Halloween's in like two days. But depending on the time I post this video, it might have already gone. Because I post consistently, don't I? Anyways, if you're watching this video, you're here for three reasons. One, you're too lazy to get a Halloween costume. Two, you don't have the time to get a Halloween costume. And three, you just like watching my videos. So here are five last minute costumes. Number one, the Snapchat dog filter. Okay, this has been done a bunch of times before, but it's really quick and it's really simple to do. You will need any type of clothing, but I chose to go with black because it's simple. Scissors, seller tape, probably double sided tape, you'll see why. And a headband. So I know there are lots of templates already online of the dog filter, but as Snapchat have added the new Halloween dog filter, I would do that one as well. All I did is take a picture of myself with the dog filter, put it in Word, and then took away the background. Next, you're going to want to print that off on a card and cut it out. And if you want, you can stick it on cardboard, but like, this is last minute, so I think there's time for that. So after you've cut it out, take a piece of cellar tape, stick it on the ear, tie this around the headband, and do the same for the other ear. Next, try and make like a ring of cellar tape. This is where double-sided tape comes in handy. And then just stick it on your nose. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty simple, right? Number two, a piece of trash. So this can be funny if you look at it in one way, or really offensive if you look at it in another way. But it's pretty simple and easy to do. All you're going to need is a bin liner and some scissors. So the bin liner should be preferably black, but I only had white for some reason, so we're going to use that. Next you want to cut a head hole and arm holes. And then there you have it, you're a piece of trash. Number three, a cereal account. For this one, you need a white shirt, an empty cereal box. <coughs> <coughs> what happened there? Fudge. For this one, you're going to need a white shirt, an empty cereal box, three safety pins, a plastic knife or spoon, and fake blood. First of all, you're going to want to make an insert with the knife where you want it to go in your cereal box. Next, take the fake blood, and you can use a paintbrush to neat this up, but it's supposed to be blood in. Let the fake blood drip down the insert of the knife, and then wait for it to dry. Then once it's dry, take three safety pins and stick it to the shirt. And there you have it, you're a serial killer. Oh, I'm so funny. That's the most funniest costume ever, come on, serial killer, get it? Number four, great idea. So has anyone told you that you were a great idea? Me neither. For this one, all you're going to need is a black t-shirt, a wire hanger or metal wire it depends on whatever you have. Pliers, a toothpick, a headband, and super glue. So for this one, I just went online and I searched a bulb emoji, and then in Word I just expanded it. Next, you can use whatever font you want. I just typed in a text box, a great idea. And you're going to want to make that font pretty big because it's going to go on your t-shirt. Next, print this out card and cut it out. So with the wire hanger or metal wire, twist the wire around your finger so it makes a spiral. And using the pliers, cut it. I just super glued one end to the top of the headband. And then, using a toothpick, I glued the toothpick to the light bulb. And finally, I glued the toothpick onto the wire. Then using the safety pins, pin the words great idea onto a black shirt. And there you go. You're a great idea. And you're a great idea. Hey, Bristol. And finally, number five, a pumpkin slash jack o -lantern. This one is nice and easy and takes like no time. For this one, you're going to need an orange shirt, a toothpick, super glue, and a headband. Sort of cheating in this one because it has a jack o lantern design already. Then print out a green stalk on mine. Whatever sort you want, you can make it. I don't know, maybe you're crafty. Again, it has time. Then print it out on card, cut it out, we know these steps. Then glue the stalk to the top of the tooth. Then glue the other side of the tooth to the headband. And there you are, you're done. You're a pumpkin slash jack o lantern, whatever you want to call it. But you know, it takes minimal effort. It looks like you sort of put an effort, we don't know. Why are they talking?
And that's all I really have today. Sorry if this video was jumpy. I had absolutely no plan. So I just thought, you know what? Let's just toss it in. Hope you guys have an awesome Halloween and you probably did this a lot better than I did. But let me know in the comments below. Also in the comments, I don't know what happened with me for Halloween. These ones, as I have no time. But let me know in the comments what you're going to be for Halloween. Leave a comment. Awesome. Please like, subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks for watching and until next time. The mess. He did the monster mash, the monster mash. It was a great guy's fresh. Shut the fudge up.